When it comes to optimizing Windows 11 and getting a better experience from your PC, I have covered tools like PC Manager and Revo Uninstaller in recent videos. But that's just not enough for you, is it? You want more, don't you? You want all of the optimization. Fine, I got you covered. We are no strangers to Windows 11 optimization tools. I first covered PC Manager, but I've received a few comments from viewers stating that when they go to the website to download it, it's listed as not available. The tool has been out for a couple of years, so I did some digging and apparently it is a regional thing. For whatever reason, Microsoft PC Manager is not available everywhere. Sure, you can go into your Windows settings change your region to a country where it is available, download it, and then change your regional settings back, but we shouldn't have to do that. Revo Uninstaller is great. I specifically use that one for its ability to remove programs, and not only remove programs, but remove all of the files and extensions and folders and things that the Windows default uninstaller leaves behind. And that's just not very good housekeeping. But I figured due to the shenanigans with Microsoft and PC Manager, I owe you one. So today, we're talking about WinToys. WinToys is a free and comprehensive Windows 11 optimization tool designed to enhance your PC's performance, simplify system management, and improve user experience. With its user-friendly interface and powerful features, WinToys is the go-to utility for anyone looking to optimize their Windows 11 system without the need for advanced technical skills. Key features include Startup Manager, control which applications launch during system startup to reduce boot times and eliminate unnecessary programs running in the background. Junk Cleaner, identify and delete temporary files, cache, and other system clutter. Free up valuable storage space and improve system speed. Performance Tweaks Access advanced settings and hidden options to boost system performance. Optimize CPU, RAM, and disk usage for a smoother experience. Task Manager Integration Provides a detailed overview of active processes and system resource usage. Identify resource-heavy apps and terminate unnecessary tasks with ease. App Uninstaller Easily remove unwanted programs, including stubborn or leftover files keep your system clean and organized. Windows Services Manager. View and manage Windows services, enabling or disabling them based on your needs. Optimize background operations to free up resources. Privacy Enhancements. Control telemetry and data collection settings for improved privacy. Disable unnecessary tracking features in Windows 11. System Monitoring. Real-time tracking of CPU, GPU, and RAM usage. Monitor system health and diagnose performance bottlenecks. WinToys is perfect for both casual users and power users who want to keep their Windows 11 PC in top shape. Whether you're looking to speed up your system, enhance security, or free up storage, WinToys has you covered. Yes, all of these tools are available throughout Windows. Someone always points that out in the comments. But these optimization tools make it easy to find and use them all in one app. So you're not digging all around Windows trying to find the tools you need. So let's go download it and set it up. Real quick, if you're finding value in this video, do me a favor, like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is free to you and it helps me grow the channel so I can keep bringing you content just like this. Okay, let's go. We're going to hop over here onto Google and just type in WinToys. You can get this from a couple of places. I'm going to go ahead and grab it from the Windows Store. I'm going to click on it right here and start the installation. You will get the user account control. I'm going to click yes. And just like that. So you can already see it's populated my system info here. It's got some processor information right here. Got memory information. Got a performance score of 8.6. Probably need to work on that. We've got apps. Let's come see what we've got over here. If I click on apps, it brings up all of the installed apps on my computers. We've got services here. 
I've got 143 services running. I could come through here and kill some stuff. And you can cycle up here. Oh, look, it's got a category for useless. Let's see what populates there. So according to Wind Toys, these are all useless services. 86 of them to be exact. I should probably kill some of those. And this will give you a good idea of what's running on your computer. I'm going to take a look at my performance here. Ultimate Performance Power Plan allows components to consume all the power they need to maximize performance. I'm going to leave that off for now. Hardware Accelerator, GPU Scheduling, Virtualization Based Security, Startup Apps. Now why in the world do I have Adobe stuff in here when I don't even use Adobe? Great job Adobe. Let's get rid of those. And just a bunch of other stuff here. I won't bore you with the details, but I can go through here. Let's see, most of these are turned off, so they're not really impacting me. But I could come through here, use these toggle buttons to turn off the apps that I did not want to start up with Windows. Check out the health of my PC. Got fast startup enabled, hibernation, drive optimization, storage sense, battery report, pair, memory diagnostic, system updates, security manual disabled. App updates, sleeping pill, graphics driver, icons cache. Let's go over here and take a look at tweaks. So this is one of the ones that I want to definitely make sure that we point out, which is the privacy one. So if we take a look at the privacy one here, we've got telemetry turned on, app launches tracking, got some error reporting, camera on lock screen. Most of these are turned off. What's interesting here is I didn't even realize that I had telemetry on. My suspicion here is when you do a big Windows update, it probably turns it back on. I would double check that. I don't need error reporting on either. I don't need my camera on if the lock screen is on. I certainly don't need app launches tracking. Definitely go in here in these privacy options and turn off the things that you don't want Microsoft to have. Let's go look under ads. Oh, look. Suggested content and settings, suggested notifications, all of this stuff needs to be off. Lock screen tips, Windows tips and suggestions, Windows welcome experience, finish setting up your device. I'll have to keep my clipboard history on, mouse acceleration, feedback notifications. I thought my show file extensions was already on, let's turn that on. So yes, all of this stuff you could dig into Windows settings and find, but tools like this put it all in one spot for you to make it kind of easy. Start menu, include Bing search results, no thanks. Auto install suggestions, no thanks. And then of course, this screen here gives you kind of a snapshot as to what's happening in your system. 116 apps, 235 processes, 141 services, Network speed, memory usage, video card usage, processor usage. So this is kind of a cool monitor just to have, just to check to see how your system is running. And there you have it, a Windows 11 optimization tool that will boost your performance, help manage data, and help you take control of your privacy. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel. Check out this video suggestion that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Thanks for watching and until next time.